Hello everyone, I'm BVG Hill and welcome back once again to another episode of Mass Effect 3. There seems to be a lady over here talking about us. Oh, yep, she spotted us. Alright, Diana Allers, what's up? Diana Allers? What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance Allers. Network. I think we can help each other. Can we? I suppose you want an interview? Even better. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. Uh -huh. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Well, it's not a, really a human Why would ship. I want that? It's a everyone can ship. Be won or lost in the There's just room. only humans this now, except for Liar. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that, or do I keep looking? Let's do a trial run. Producers, yes for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? As long as you aren't intrusive. One footlocker. Aye, aye, Commander. One footlocker. Not a whole lot for an extended stay on a ship. What's up with the straps on your clothes, ma'am? They're doing some weird shit to your stomach. Hmm. Anyways. We're back, guys. Now we have Diana Allers on board, and everything is fantastic. We're supposed well, oh no, no, it's not. Uh, Caden is like almost dead, and we have an option to go meet with him at Huerta Memorial Hospital before we meet the council. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go to Huerta. Huerta. Wait, let me one more try. One more time. Huerta Memorial Hospital. I feel like that's how I... That, I'm sorry if that was racist. I'm not sure who it would be racist to. But if it was racist to someone or offensive, I apologize. Alright. Um, increase Metagel capacity by one. I think we're going to need that, actually. So I'm going to get that. Tasty yet medicinal. The perfect gift. Smooth and smoky with a hint of heat. Each sip of TM88 has a story to tell. And each glass has a story to inspire. TM88 isn't one of the Earth's top-selling beverage exports for nothing. Known for having both a calming influence and the ability to stimulate blood flow, TM88 is the only alcoholic drink endorsed by the medical board of Sir Kesh. Endorsed? Was alcohol good for people on Sir Kesh? Because it's... Certainly not that great for people here, that's for sure. Hello. I like the markings on your face, ma'am. For some reason, I feel as though... Aha! There we go. That's what I thought. Hello. Here's Shepard now. Dr. Chakwas. Dr. Michelle. You're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shelter Wards. Coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Well, Chakras. the worst of it. How is he Perfect doing? timing. Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Major Elenko's resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. What have you been up to? It's been six months. I don't Doctor. talk to you that How much you been? in this series. Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Right. You belong on the Where's Normandy. The Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word, and I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. I don't need to thank don't me. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker's still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. <laughs> I picture... I just picture in my mind's eye... Whoa, hello. What the hell just happened? Whoa. What, what just happened? Um, I just picture in my mind's eye jo a scene between Joker and her where he 
that uses the okay mom scene. Hello? Nothing? Meet you back here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna explore because there's always little hidden ways of getting getting more um, Hi, doctor. war assets. And trust me, unless multiplayer is still like super lively and super easy to get a match, we're gonna need every bit of war assets we can get. Hello, Caden. Look at those muscles. Hey, Caden. Poor guy. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. Get some rest, okay? I'll come by when you're feeling better. We'll talk. Seeing you in action again. Reminding me you're a hell of a soldier. Doctor just creep into the you background. Need anything, Doc, let me know. Oh, Shep knew he was there. I forgot about that. Come on, Caden. Just creeping. Fight. How did he take so much damage with a reinforced That's helmet on his head? And the helmet didn't get smashed. Maybe it's just a slight lack of detail, I don't know. Yeah, go ahead, scan me, I don't give a shit. Son of a bitch. Uh huh. So apparently, people don't believe in the Reapers still. Which is a colossally massive mistake. Let's be honest with ourselves. Am I right? Colossally massive mistake. Well, I mean, they kind of have to believe it now because there's actual footage from Earth with Reapers coming in and just steamrolling everybody. Basically just walking straight on through all the defenses imaginable. Doop, 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 doop. Who's ready to meet with the Council who always Commander, gets in my way? Councilor Udina said you'd be coming. Uh-huh. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. I always thought it was kind of lame that Udina ends up counselor. taking over anyway. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. Right. Naturally, they don't believe a word of anything. The reports of any are of accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Look at those textures on her face. Even if we were so to meet our enemies, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scale is... It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hackett. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Yeah, we Our got it. Our initial calculation suggests it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. They didn't have enough there time. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? I believe in trying. It can work and so do I. I mean, for lack of a better option, this is it. With you, Dina. He's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop it, Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them.
the cruel everybody and gets a retexture while the reapers focus on earth we can prepare and regroup we are convening a summit amongst our species if we can manage to secure our own borders we may once again consider aiding you right i'm sorry commander that is the best we can do you little shits shepherd Keep me in my office. Yeah, you know, well, you gotta understand where they're coming from. But anyways, what I was saying is, everybody gets a retexture except the poor Torians. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses. I mean, you Shepard. can't blame them, really. If they sent their they armies to help us, them. their own planets the would get wrecked. Will always be considered second rate. How mm. can they be so blind? They're Unless I'm missing something, I don't know. For themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor, for once the Turian Council is not being an ass. I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. Unless he likes me now, apparently. My Mark Bedorian called the war summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primark Fedorian undetected. I don't see how that helps me. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way, but the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future, the fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. Right. We're at war, and you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <laughs> our latest Fair intelligence enough. says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. Suppose that's all we can ask for, right? Well, there is one other thing. The council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your specter status. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well, that went well. To uphold. It's a start. Was it ever in I'll question? Talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Although I guess the whole blowing up a solar system thing might have impacted my specter status, made them think, well, you should we do we really want this person as, as a specter? I mean, is this really what we want? Do we really want someone who blows up a solar system to be to be linked to us? I mean, really, if you think about it, one, they were Batarians, and Batarians are usually assholes. Not always. That's kind of a self-conceited way of putting it, so I I take that back. Anyway, Spectre Terminal. They, they haven't said anything about this yet, but I knew about it, so. Welcome to Spectre Information Processing Centers. Terminal Officer Secures Information. Yeah, whatever. Corian Pilgrim, Gen Volan Narnima on the Citadel received a large credit transfer from the fleet. Gen Volan purchased tech, including high-end soup weapon... High-end weapon mounts and kinetic barrier emitters from several ship service centers. On Ilium, another Quarian Pilgrim, unidentified, was observed searching for a ship traveling close to the Perseus Vale. The Pilgrim was later heard saying that his pilgrimage was recalled. Data suggests the Quarian fleet is withdrawing its pilgrims and upgrading ships for combat somewhere near the Perseus Vale. This could be a reaction to the Reaper invasion, but no formal offer or request for assistance has come. Intel suggests the Quarians may instead be preparing for conflict with the Geth. Bad idea, man. Really bad idea. You know, just saying. Really, really bad idea. Uh, Garmer Heavy Assault Armor. Do I want to purchase this? It's only nine grand. Why not? We'll purchase it, sure. See you later. It's been real, homie. It's been real. I need to go to a bunch of shops. I think I think most of my shopping, though, I'm going to wait till um, after I'm done recording. And then I'll go do some shopping and shit. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do in this episode. Maybe it could be like a talking time slash council meeting. I think that's what we'll do. Hey, kind of get to know everyone we, we got so far. The not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. You People know that are whispering right. about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. 
That's your kind of place, James? I take it this is your first time here with the elite of the galaxy. I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. Yep. It's all just an illusion. You're it right. Was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? Yeah. They'd rather believe You're in right. this than face the truth. They will. They're in for a rude awakening. Every species will fall one by one if they don't work with us. No shit. Can't believe it's even up for debate. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're going to have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. <laughs> and I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Thanks, James. Glad to hear it. I'm going to head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. On a side note, as far as talking times are concerned, there's probably going to be a lot more of them in this game because there is like a ridiculous uh, difference in the amount of conversations and such with um, hold on. Hold on. What am I doing? With companions and stuff. Okay, we're not going to have a talking time today, apparently. Okay, mark all viewed. I've I've already read the majority of these codexes a million times over. Okay, so we can't go shopping today, so that's fine. Looks like we're going to Palaven, then. That rhymes. How convenient. Um, I think we'll go... To arriving on Palavin and leave it at that. Get to that point. We'll get that far along. And that'll be it. Or maybe we could just talk to people on the, the Normandy. I mean, we really haven't done combat or anything. I mean, we basically just visited Caden. Visited the council. We're having our first dream sequence. I really, really love what these mods have done for this. Little boy, no! Come back! Don't run away! I don't want to see you get blown up by the Reapers again. I cry every time. And that's not a joke. I cry every time. I'm a grown-ass man. A grown-ass 23-year-old man. The big-ass beard. And I cry like a little bitch so often, especially during Mass Effect 3. First two, I've been, I've gotten good at not, but this game, no matter how many times I play through it, I mean, I don't bawl my eyes out anymore, but I definitely get teared up. I have a few tears coming down my face. <laughs> oh man, that base. It was supposed to be an inhale, but it sounded like a death wail. Mm. Liara. Hi. Can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian counselor information on the Prothean device. You're just using that it as an excuse to see me. can't be without council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. Right. I know. Are you all right? I've been better. I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? Well, take a guess. Everyone back on Earth. When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. 
There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. What are you calling me Commander, Commander for? Shepherd? Come on. I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. No, don't go. Okay, good. Commander Shepard, I'm See you later. Com Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. So you remodeled my ship again. When the Reapers hit. You're doing great. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. Nice. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's he was no gonna longer an option. Deal the ship yes, back. That's what I he was going to do. He chose to stay and fight. In, in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait. Since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? She's not a virtual intelligence. He's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. <laughs> Thanks, E.D. And I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, attractive your voice was. Saucy. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. Right. In the Hit CIC, me. you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. Right, standard. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. Mm -hmm. Yawn. The war room houses a strategic command center for mission specific right. intel That's new. and war analysis. Cool. Mm -hmm. the Weapon customization. Bay armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Right. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office. Of course office. she has. I think she's claimed that room. And That's where Miranda was. It's still the same ship as before. It just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. All right. Much thanks, trainer. Keep it real, homie. Oh, shit. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the council. Sounds like they're running scared. Look, I understand their concerns personally. We did personally. present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to do get shit and hope it works. For a summit meeting with the Asari and Solarians. I'll bypass the council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good. I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it. And if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Done. Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The mm. stronger you mm -hmm. can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. And what about Earth? What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. Let's I understand. Hope. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Oh boy. But hey, that's where we're going to end this. Uh, let me see if there's any like story shit in here. I don't think there is, though. Holy shit. Oh, this is part of EGM, I believe. It changes the uh, war assets stuff, supposedly making them more realistic. Um, so I don't know. Uh, but anyways, we've already hit the minimum and we just started the game. <laughs>
So I think that means that multiplayer is not going to be an issue. That's the main reason I wanted to get this mod, because I didn't feel like putting 10-15 hours of time into the multiplayer to get my war readiness up to 100% or close to it so that I could utilize all my war assets because that was the only way to get the best possible ending. Because FYI, if you don't already know this, and if you don't already know this, something wrong with you. You should play this game for yourself. It's fucking amazing. But if you don't have uh, your readiness rating up high enough, like, see, it now it says readiness rating 50%, which means that the total military strength is 2,314, but I can only utilize 50% of it. So I'm only getting 1157. Which, honestly, it was a good feature when it came out, but I think they should have released an update that got rid of the readiness rating. Once the game got older. Because it came out in 2012. It's almost 2017 now. You know? We're just a couple months away from 2017. I can almost guarantee that not many people play the multiplayer anymore. But that's beside the point. Anyways, I'm going to end the episode here. And I'll look through the war assets. and uh, That's probably it. Maybe go change my armor up and customize my weapons and stuff, so. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you very, very much for watching. As usual, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter. and the Links in the description down below for updates when I stream, anything like that. Videos going up. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below. If you really enjoyed it, make sure to hit that subscribe button that's also down below for more content from me. Feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought, what you liked, what you didn't like, and any suggestions for games that you would like to see me play in the future. And last but most certainly not least, if this video just blew your mind, most definitely be sure to share this video with your friends, your family, your loved ones, random people you on the street, or the internet, whatever floats your boat. And I will see all of you in the next one. See you later.